This one bitch. Hey, hey, listen to this, man. Um, my shit is unscripted, so you know what's going through my head right now. Okay, I told this one bitch from Ghana, right? Okay, and females don't understand one thing. I like you're in a shitty country, okay, and um, you're doing this. I'm like, I'm not going out there. <laughs> I'm not coming to you. <laughs> You better show me as much sexual pictures as possible because you're my slave. <laughs> <laughs> Bitches in other countries are easily, easily manipulated in a good way. Okay, But there is good positive manipulation, such as being the leader at a job, taking care of computers and stuff like that, being a role model and the boss. And then there's bad manipulation. Womanizing bastards who manipulate women and lie to women to get what they need. Okay, so So many women I talk to all across the world Most of you have not done such a thing. I have videos to prove and back what I say But this that's not what this video is about. Okay, because my life is more interesting than most of y'all guys So here you go. Okay, my this video is about my plans for when I hit 50 years old You know if I'm still living, I don't know. Maybe my wife might want to try to poison me because she has to pay me now, okay? And the courts can't do anything about it, okay? Um, but I let her live, okay? She's still living. She's the last of the Mahokin, okay? And as I said before, in the past, you guys are the victims. Be careful. You're bringing virgins in, them in, in a foreign developed country. It's not wise. Mostly not. Because just because you got a big conk don't mean she's going to stick with you. Just because you got great personality doesn't mean she's going to stay with you either. Wink, wink, okay, here you go. Okay, you can have all the perfect shit you want, but once you start going her own way. So, my plans for when I hit 50 is to write a book called um, Another 48 Laws of Power. I, li I like the book. I read it only through 70%, but I felt there was some sort of narcissistic evil traits, and little undertones in the book that needs to be refreshed and remade. But, of course, I understand the whole concept of the 48 Laws of Power. And, of course, I want to remake it and call it Another 48 Laws of Power. And it's going to be through the guidelines of everything he has written, plus a little bit more knowledge. Um, but, of course, um, I, I, want to, I want to start writing books when I'm 50, because I know it will be success in the game. Um, through my experiences of research and countless hours with women and men who predominantly have not been raised by a proper father figure, I had to raise myself, literally, okay? So, um, also, I want to create a book called um, My Life as a Schizo, okay? So, my whole life is more interesting than most people's lives, okay? And I say that with a form of arrogance, and I'm boasting about it, of course, because um, lots of people, lives are very boring compared to mine. And most people who have probably went through the justice system too many times, had too many bad relationships. I didn't have too many bad relationships. Just very few. You can count them on my hands. But of course, uh, all the other females that I've dealt with, hundreds of females I've talked to in foreign lands, those are like some fantastic fucking stories. And I want to write about my life. Because we only live less than 100 years old, guys. And I think you should have a diary or some sort of video vlog or have it all up here somehow. Or give it to, you know, my, and also, by the age of 50, I'll be rich, okay? I should be rich, but I'm going to still write a book anyway because my daughter's will work with me and we will want to work together and I might not even be living in this country because my voice is just telling me it's time to leave and I'm like but they said don't worry I said well, how am I gonna leave motherfuckers you know you know if you're a schizo you you're special you're a holy man just like Jesus Abraham Lincoln um, Albert Einstein Mark Twain okay and John Doe they had the demons in their head okay so they're special and gifted even Nikola Tesla Martin Luther King, Mahatma Gandhi, all heard the secret voice within their minds. But guess what? They all got assassinated. That's fucked up, right? Um, it's sad that when people have gifts and stuff, you got to be careful of the X-Men. But when, and when I, by the time I hit 50, I'm going to write those books. But I'm not going to do it now. People say, you should write a book about your life. You should be a rapper. Well, I was thinking about being a rapper. I don't know. I don't know how, what kind of creativity. I can write my ass off. I'm a very, I'm an excellent writer and a graffiti artist. I'm an artist, I'm a sketcher, I'm all sorts of crazy shit that you should be reading in the description box. But by the time I hit 50, I should already be rich. 
but I don't even, maybe, maybe later, because my daughter's not 16, but I think I'll be rich before that, okay, and then I gotta get out of the country, I don't know if I want to leave, I might want to go to Dubai, I don't know, okay, I'd rather go to a stricter country rather than a, a more free or hypocritical country like in America, because America, Americans, most Americans believe they're Christians, but that's not true, because the Bible's pretty strict, but people want to alter it and flip it around to their own needs. People have psychological problems because they took too many drugs in the water. You've been taking too much drug. You've been drinking that fucking spigot water, right? How many times I got to tell people, I don't have to write a whole new book on that shit. They put medicine in your fucking water, motherfuckers. Do you understand? Even a plastic has medicine in it. Come on, man. You can't even avoid it. How do I, how, how do I keep myself as young and so uh, rubus, robust as I am? I just stay to myself and stop eating. I drink my foods like fucking Jack LaLanne, motherfucker. Okay? I don't have to be a he-man looking motherfucker to be top notch. I could go against fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger. I ain't fighting him. I just tell you, his life is more, more boring than mine. Okay? I don't have to work out. I don't have to do that shit. I could have a conversation with anybody for two to three hours and they're like, yo, you the man. Okay? I say, I know, right? But then you can't have a conversation with them because their life is not that interesting. So... I have to, you know, my life is like this. I have to write a book on magic spells. Seriously, the shit that works for me, okay? Really, really, wink, wink, because okay? I don't understand how everybody want to take everybody else's magic spells from somewhere else, but that shit only work for certain type of people. People don't really understand how anything works these days. They don't, they don't understand that vaccinations can alter your fucking DNA. They don't know none of that shit. They just take it because they have to. So... Before I hit the age of 50, I think by the age of 50, I'm going to write the book, okay? All right? And say, what are you going to do, dude? What is your plans for life? My plans is to sit back and relax and watch the chaos uh, bubble up, okay? Because I'm a sadist. A sadist is someone who likes chaos and destruction, but they know I'm a good sadist, okay? There's two different types of evils, two different types of goods. Don't go there with me. Please don't go there. And so when I see the chaos, I know things are going to get better, when things get worse, it gets better for me. When things get better, I kind of worry. I'm like, oh, shit, man, because that's not what life is about. Life is about suffering and problems and sorrow and aches because that's what I was going through most of my life when I was a child. I'm Jesus. I told you then. Nah, 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 over and over again. So by the age of 50, you should have some, between 40 and 50, your life, you should have plans, great plans. And for every female I dealt with, I always tell them my plans and what I'm going to do with her and her pussy and her mindset. And even if she wants to change, I got a plan for that shit. Most people out there don't have plans. But when you hit 50, that should be time to, to pack it up. It's time to go. It's almost time to go. If you're healthy, you still might not live. You might get cancer because you drunk the wrong type of food, motherfucker. You got to watch certain foods you're eating, man. You, gotta, you do have to take in some poison sometimes. You do, you do have to take in some poisons. It bonds with the system. That's your vaccination. The poison's in the water. The poison's in the fucking food. When you go outside, there's fucking poisons and shit. What the fuck, man? There's people who are allergic to fucking water. I didn't even know that. <laughs> but anyway, that comes to my question here. How the hell does someone can be allergic to water if it's distilled water? There's nothing actually in it. It's crazy, right? How? How the fuck is that possible? But that's all I wanted to say, you guys. My daughter will help me out. I'm safe. I'm okay. The matriarch is helping me out. Okay, the system is helping me out. The white daddies is helping me out. The women are helping me out. That's that's how I got my teeth fixed. I love it. I love it. I love it. I, love it. I recommend you guys. I'm gonna make a video on that next. Okay. I recommend everybody to get their teeth removed because George Washington did it because he had wooden uh, dentures and you live longer. So I'm going to make a video on that. I'm going to talk about some rambling health facts. Okay, in my next video. Because I love you all, but I hate the many of you. And have some plans for your life before you hit the age of between 40 and 50. For guys, that's your wine years. You have to start planning. But you should be doing it early. But that's what I'm, that's, that's all my message is. Have something to plan for. Peace.